Hello, it's Tom from Latest Deals, and in this video we are talking about solar panels, how much they are and whether they're worth it. But unlike all other YouTube videos where you've got to watch for 10 minutes before they give you the answer, I'm going to tell you right now, solar panels are terrible for your wallet, but fantastic for the environment. Let's find out why. So solar panels convert sunlight into electricity, which you then use to power electronics in your home. The sun is a large, free and renewable energy source, which means that you can generate as much electricity as the solar panels permit without releasing harmful pollutants such as carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is bad for the environment. If you have your own solar panels on the roof, you are therefore creating power for your own home, which can cut your energy bills from third external parties. Are solar panels efficient in the UK? On days with lots of sunshine, you will of course generate more power. On days which are overcast, dark or rainy, you will still generate a bit, but not as much. And as we know, the UK is a bit temperamental with the weather. Surprisingly though, you may be interested to know that solar panels work better in cooler temperatures. It's not true that they work best in very hot countries. What you want is the ideal balance between cool temperatures and lots of sunshine. Companies talk a lot about the efficiency of their solar panels. How much of the energy are they able to convert into power? A commercial solar panel for the home typically has an efficiency rating of 15 to 20 percent. These efficiency percentages are increasing every single year with new, more, better and improved solar panels. But here's the question everyone wants to know. How much do solar panels cost? For the average British home, for the average setup, you're looking to spend about £6,000. However, solar panels are getting cheaper and more efficient every single year, so hopefully that price will keep going down. £6,000 though is a lot of money, and you've got to ask yourself whether that initial investment is going to be worth it in terms of your household bill saving. To do that, you need to work out how much energy your solar panels might produce and how much energy you use. But Tom, I thought you could generate electricity from solar panels and then sell it to the grid and make money from it. That is true to an extent, but these days you can only sell the surplus energy you create beyond what you use yourself. So in the past, what happened was if you installed solar panels, you'd be paid for the energy you created, whether you use that yourself or you passed it on. Now, since the 1st of January 2020, you have something called a smart export guarantee. And that means when you put the solar panels on your roof, you first get the energy to your home, you use that energy for your own self and your livelihood. And if there's anything left, it then gets exported into the grid and you get paid for that amount. How much money can I make? Well, you can make between four to six P at the moment per kilowatt hour you send to the grid. Huh? Four to six P? What about per year? How much money can I make from solar panels? You can make money from the government's smart export guarantee scheme. Your energy supplier, if they have at least 150,000 customers, must pay you for any energy that you export into the grid. On average, households can earn 70 pounds a year with the Smart Export Guarantee Scheme. So if solar panels cost you £6,000 to put up onto the roof and you make an average of £70 a year in income, it's going to take you a long time to make your money back. In fact, it's going to take 85 years. So this brings me back to what I said at the very beginning of the video, that on average, solar panels are not worth it for your wallet, but they are fantastic for the environment. Now, of course, not only might you make money, but you could also save money on your household bills. Whilst you aren't going to break the bank with income from the SEG scheme, you may save significant amounts on your household bills. According to the Energy Savings Trust, the average home in London might save £6,000 over 25 years. But there's something else you might want to consider too. For some people, having solar panels on a home can increase the value of it. But for others, people see solar panels as eyesores or ugly. So for them, it may decrease the value of the home. Before you go and buy solar panels, there's a few things you should know first. Number one is that previously, 
there was another scheme that paid you money. You may read online about some figures. Just be sure you're reading about the Smart Export Guarantee Scheme, which started in 2020. Number two, a south facing roof with solar panels on works best. If your roof is unshaded between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. in the UK and south facing, you'll reap the most out of the natural sunshine. Number three, solar panels don't lock you in to one provider, you can switch. As long as the energy company has over 150,000 customers, you can switch and they will be paying you for the energy that you export. The amount of money that they pay you can also differ between the different companies. So you want to compare not only for the amount that you pay them, but the amount that they pay you. Number four, the further south in the UK you live, the more money you can generally make from natural sunshine. And that's for the simple fact that in the south, there is more sunshine, more clear skies. Number five, solar panels can increase your house value. For some people, the idea of having solar panels and not having to pay for them themselves can be really attractive because you won't be paying much for your energy bills. But for other people, they see it as ugly and therefore you may lose interest from some buyers. The last tip with solar panels before you go and buy them is to start thinking about how you might maximize the use of them. So if you use your appliances at the time when there is the most sunshine, then you can make sure you're using as much electricity as possible from your own solar panel. That's really cool and will help you save money as well. In general though, solar panels are expensive to get up and running. £6,000 is the average, but that price is starting to drop as we see more innovation. The amount of money you can save is about £6,000 over 20 to 25 years as well. So if you are going to get it for financial reasons, you really have to think that it's a long-term investment. However, all of that might be cancelled out by your desire to help the environment because solar panels are so much more environmentally friendly than using fossil fuels. Yet, even if you do want that, there may be cheaper and better options, such as getting a green renewable energy plan. You can get one of these from normal energy companies. And if you do your research, you can be sure you're buying your energy from companies that are doing 100% renewable energy and gas, and perhaps even solar panels themselves. That's it, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Latest Deals for more. On our website, we've got full guides, really long and detailed with all the information you should need, including how much you can make, calculators,